Kelly Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. And Lloyd Macedo, today the date is April 16, 2016. Time right now is 8.15 in the evening. All right. Uh, happened to get this email from a girl. Okay. Um, so I get emails from lots of people who are confused and need help. So I got this email from one other person. Okay. Uh, hi there, Lloyd. Please do not reveal my identity. Uh, uh, obviously, I do not reveal people's identity. That's why people write to me. Okay. I wanted to ask you a very important question. Well, people ask me a lot of questions, and I guess you also want to ask me a question. Is life so difficult to live? Uh, okay. Now, my perspective is life was never meant to be fair. Life is just what it is. There are some people who have a great life. There are some people who have a lousy life. There are some people who are born up in the lap of luxury, and they end up in steroids and drugs and bad company, and uh, they room in it. And then there are people who, hey, shut up. Dog is hungry. Yeah. It's time for dinner. Yeah, okay. And then there are those people who are brought up in abject poverty and they achieve great amount of success in life. In my case, I was born and brought up uh, in a family that was pretty broken. I was beaten, bruised, bloodied, um, treated unfair, molested, raped. I had so much of shit going on for me. I failed in class, I failed in college, uh, uh, dropped out, and you know, I failed in corporate life. And uh, you know, uh, obviously, things were not going very well, but finally, I'm happy. So, life is what we make for it to be, okay? Now, I'm a student of high school and I gave my exams, but it was not so great. Okay, now the thing about exams is you're given something to learn, read and study, which is boring. And you got to mug it up and in the exam, you got to vomit it out. So, that's what is an exam. And they are not so great is because you are not interested, you do not have the passion, you do not want to mug up things and you don't want to follow these stupid uh, academic rules, but then again, you don't have a choice. This is what it is. This is education, or you need to have some exceptional talent like drawing, painting, singing, or something that can bring you commercial viability. Okay, but they are just fine. Okay, uh, but I always feel I'm a burden to everyone. See, sweetheart, see, the thing is, you're a young girl, you're not earning anything, so obviously, you have to depend on other people. So, I don't know why you should feel you're a burden, unless, of course, your parents are doing a lousy job because of which. Hey, they're hungry. Okay, so you're feeling that you're a burden. So listen, if your parents are doing a lousy job, remember this, one day they turn and come, don't tell them this. And then obviously they'll have to depend on you. So you're not being a burden, it's just you're young. But yes, it'll be nice if you start working uh, at least part time so you can earn some money. I'm a burden for everyone here who is, whoever is in my life. Whoever is in your life, there are very few people in your life. Okay, so don't limit your your opinion about yourself with these few people like mom, dad, brother and all that stuff, okay? Uh, whom's I reason? I feel like I'm a piece of shit <laughs> lying, <laughs> lying on this earth. So, <laughs> you have low esteem, low, uh, you know, you have personality issues like how I used to have. I used to also feel as a burden. So, if you feel you're a piece of poo-poo on this planet, well, then change that. You are what you think you are. For example, me, I think I am, you know, I'm amazing, I'm sexy, I am beautiful, I am great. So that's me. So you think what you want to think. If you feel you're a piece of shit, well, that's you. Uh, nobody can help you there. Uh, piece of shit doing on earth, doing nothing. Well, if you're not doing anything, do something. Do something that is interesting, that you like. I don't know. Yes, you do know. When people say, I don't know, they don't want to take charge. They don't want to take responsibility. So don't say, I don't know, because you should know you. And if you say you don't know, ask yourself, if I didn't know, what would it be? So that's how your mind changes. I don't know why, but I always feel depressed. You don't always feel depressed. You only feel depressed when you have nothing to do and you're thinking about shitty thoughts. If you're watching a comedy movie, if you're watching cartoons, if you're watching something entertaining, you would not feel depressed. Okay, I feel depressed as my parents expect a lot from me. Your parents can expect anything out of you, okay? Uh, you need to expect from yourself. So you focus on what you want to expect from yourself, okay? That's very important. But I feel so depressed all the time. Cheer up. Oh, please, I feel depressed. Oh, watch a funny movie. Watch something romantic. Or watch an action movie. Go out, do something. Stop this pity, pity, patty bullshit. Okay? And I feel that if I was not here, everyone's life will be better or so. 
see, we can keep assuming and keep indulging in this self-pity, boo-hoo-hoo kind of thoughts, and uh, it's not going to help anyone. And by the way, you have too many bloody spelling mistakes. Please write down in a Word document and then send it across, okay? Then, so, uh, then she sent me another email. Sorry for that, for the other one, but I wanted to continue. Why the hell do people write like these stupid, shitty, you know, but is BT and uh, and is ND? And uh, I mean, come on, stop doing this, you know, give proper English stuff, okay? Write it properly because tomorrow when you go into the world, you need to practice writing proper grammatically, you know, correct English. So you write crap like this, you know, it's going to be crap. Anyway, sorry for the other one, other one. That's not, I don't know, it looks cool. I, I don't think it looks cool. Okay, but I wanted to continue. My parents love me like anything. Oh, good. So finally, you do know something. But remember this, just because they love you or they have good intentions doesn't mean it's it's good for you because you need someone to guide you properly. Good strategy, not just lovey, lovey and all that. My parents love me like anything. Maybe that's why they're expecting good. I don't know. I just feel your this letter's first one was being honest. Now you're trying to be apologetic or whatever bullshit. Okay. But I think I can never make them proud. Listen, sweetheart. Um, as for my uh, belief, most of the parents, they are happy as long as you can take care of yourself. You're financially independent. You have a good future. That's what all parents want. And your well-being, yes. So if you can get this done, fine, great. You can't get this done, then we have a problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, but I think I can never make them proud. I don't know why. See, again, you don't want to take responsibility. So you're saying, I don't know why. But I don't think I'm that capable. Fine. If you don't think that's you, then you know, nobody can help you because you are indulging in self-pity. You're putting shit on your head. You're calling yourself names. What do you want me to do? So if you think you're a piece of shit, which you said before, you can't do anything, fine, then that's that's you. For me, I wouldn't limit myself. I would love to try everything. I would love to do something. I don't want to sit and be in a pity patty mode, okay? As it's no use of me being here, fine, if that is what you think. I just want to succeed in life. You just said that I don't want to continue my life. Then you say, I'm good for nothing. And then you say, I want to succeed in life. Sweetheart, better make up your mind. What is it you want? Do you want to succeed? You don't want to succeed. You think you can do or you think you can't do. So you can't think both the things. You, you, you know, you're mentally kind of retarded somewhere, you know, seriously. Sorry for using those names, but you need to stop getting out of that pity zone. You need to stop fishing for compliments. No, sweetheart, you're amazing. You're great. You are what you think you are. You shouldn't bother about what anyone else says. You think you're good, go ahead and do it. You'll fail, fine. Get up, succeed. It's like you run, you fall down. You get up, dust yourself, do it again, okay? Um, but I don't think so. So I will be able to make up because my class and score so much good as compared to me. I didn't understand a word you said, okay? And I know I can't. Thanks for reading. Okay, listen. I can only tell you this much, all right? Um, out of whatever I've understood from your letter, first and foremost is um, your parents are doing a fuckle job. They are doing a miserable job guiding you. Your parents are really, they are, I think they're only focusing on making money and sending you to school. They're not sitting and having a proper conversation, a dialogue with you, which I think they need to have. So your parents suck at parenting. The second thing is you are having, you're, you're, you're having st a stupid, company of friends, you, you're you having a miserable uh, group of people who are misguiding you or, you know, who have, uh, who have low self-esteem because that is how you're shaping up to be. I seriously think you need to sit down with someone who, who gives you a verbal slap and tells you, wake the fuck up, stop being this girl who's been self pity you say, oh, I can't do anything, oh, I'm good for nothing, oh, stop it. Okay, just stop it and stop saying this. I don't know. You know. It is in your head. You should know you. I don't know you. Nobody else can know you. Your parents also can't know you. You should know you. You define who you are. You create who you are. You form your personality. You become what you want to be. All right? And last but not the least, listen. Surround yourself with great minds. Surround yourself with great individuals. Read amazing books. Watch amazing programs. Um, build yourself up. And keep this in mind, life was never meant to be easy. Life is never meant to be fair. 
it has challenges. So what you're going through is just 0.01% of what life has to offer. There are so many other problems. You, you have not got pregnant with your husband dumping you and you don't have cancer and you don't have uh, uh, you know, medical issues. So you're fortunate that you, know, you are lucky. You're lucky that you're not suffering how so many other people suffer. So my request to you is, sweetheart, uh, sort yourself out and you know, life is not that bad. Okay, if you need to chat with me, talk to me, no problem. My details are always available online. And please, very important, when you send me a bloody email, make sure that your email is correct because your email was wrong that you sent me. And also, make sure that you have you know, all these stupid spelling mistakes and the shortcuts and all that. Stop that. Write proper letters, okay? Live from livemissita.com and it's livemissita.com addressing this letter from a young girl. Hope it answers your question. Goodbye for now. Yeah.